Hi, I'm Michelle Luigi, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my work and my practice today. I'm an artist who loves materials. I make associations between disparate concepts or materials. I create things with my hands. I use materials to convey meaning, and I intend to portray nature with a proactive quality of adaptation to our refuse. Through my work, I'm envisioning what that might look like. About 12 years ago, I learned about the North Pacific garbage patch and the problem of plastic debris in the ocean. Before that, I had worked with other discarded materials, electronics, shingles, paper, often combined with natural materials to make organic forms. I learned at about the same time that I could crochet with plastic and that provided me a marriage of material and concept that I had been looking for. This piece is called Octoplas. It's about 15 feet across and it's made of small cup components that I crocheted over time and joined together to make the larger form. This series also included jellyfish crocheted from plastic, coral, an anemone, but I started to feel that recognizable imagery limited the viewer's interpretation of my work. Also, plastic doesn't biodegrade, it photodegrades. The sun breaks down plastic into smaller and smaller pieces, but it can never really break it down completely. As the plastic breaks apart, the small pieces remain a polymer and the plastic becomes small enough to be ingested by aquatic organisms. In this way, the plastic waste enters the food chain and enters our bodies. Dinoflagellates are part of that plastic soup. Plastics outweigh surface zooplankton in some areas of the ocean six to one. Most of the plastics in the ocean come from four sources, plastic bags, plastic water bottles, plastic caps, and styrofoam. Dinoflagellates are among those tiny parts of the plankton. And here in this picture, you can see how they have these beautiful, otherworldly, strange sculptural forms. And also when I look at this picture, I see that they have this kind of open structure that I know that I can create with crochet. So I started to make microscopic ocean creatures and I made, uh, I started with this dinoflagellate of my own. Also crocheted with small cup components that are repeated over time. This piece contains uh, over 500 plastic shopping bags and it is made with the Shaw's and Home Depot bags. This piece is called Implastibrate. It is inspired by the nudibranch or the sea cucumber. And it is also made with a repeated cone-shaped form. And these are New York Times newspaper bags. More recently, I'm including other forms of single-use plastic in my work. I often look at Ernst Haeckel's work, who is an illustrator from way back. Uh, and he drew many pictures of organic forms and many microorganisms in water. And for this particular one, I noticed that the tips of this star form reminded me of bottle shapes. So I crocheted over bottle shapes and I use them in the structure of the form. And I'm also using here, uh, this is contact lens packaging to create that open weave that the radiolarian contains. This is that piece finished. This installation features single use plastic formed into sculptural representations of marine phytoplankton, inspired by the similarities in shapes of some of the discarded plastics and marine organisms. The discarded plastic became building components in these representations of magical and otherworldly marine life to create an immersive environment. These are two singular pieces from that exhibit. And I am looking at actual uh, marine organisms. Let me tell you a bit about my process. People are often handing me bags of bags. I have a network of people who collect their bags and save them for me. They often come in a large bunch, fluffy, and they can get out of hand quickly, as I'm sure you know. So I find it's best to process them right away. So here I am taking a bag of bags and sorting them by color. 
and I flatten out the, the different colors and as I sort them and roll them up so they become little um, packages. This is a picture of my collection, part of my collection. I sort into browns and blacks and grays, warm colors, cool colors, clear and white. To make plarn, I flatten the bag. I fold it in half along this seam and then in half again. And I cut off the seam at the bottom and the handles. And then I cut that what's remaining into one inch segments. And each of those segments is a loop. And I loop the loops together as you would rubber bands. And I keep doing that until I have amassed quite a lot and I wind it into a ball. And once I have a lot of little skeins of each color, I can then start to crochet with a certain color. Each of the crocheted forms is fitted with a um, custom fitted armature made of chicken wire. The final step is to coat the surface with a UV resin that helps to protect them from photo degradation. Thank you so much for your time and attention. For more information on my work, you can look at www.mluji.com or follow me on Instagram at, at Michelle Luji. Thanks so much.